Hello sunshines! Today's video is an overnight curl routine. This routine is going to be perfect for anyone that doesn't have time in the morning or prefers to style the hair at night so that in the morning you don't have to do much. Just by looking at this you would never know that I actually style my hair this way at night and then wake up in the morning and all I have to do is unravel and untwist and separate the curls. So I've recently been experimenting with this because I find it more convenient for me to wash my hair at night, but then at the same time, I don't wanna do my actual curly routine at night because then in the morning, it doesn't really look the best. So I basically started experimenting with a method where I apply my leave-in, do chunky curls, sleep in those chunky curls, and then separate in the morning. That's what I'm gonna do today to show you that not every curly routine has to be something complicated with a bunch of steps. You can simplify it and make it work for you. You. And to get these results, I only styled with a two-in-one defining curl cream and leave-in. This is the only styler in my Ramos Clean Curls line. It is dinner time. And I have to go. My husband just brought in some food. Enjoy the video. I don't need a shampoo cleanse today, so I'll be co-washing with my two-in-one curl conditioner instead. The natural scent is like something out of a spa. It's tropical and minty fresh. And I like to begin by pumping a good amount onto my hands and applying it little by little in sections of my scalp to start. And what I love about this conditioner is that it's weightless enough to cleanse my scalp and hair and still get that fresh, clean feeling. I like to use both my fingers and an exfoliating scalp scrubber for extra cleansing, which really helps when you're using a co-wash. After I rinse, I use a little more conditioner focusing on my ends this time to detangle my hair. And the conditioner has a great amount of slip, which makes it so much easier to detangle. If you have those like tiny little knots, this is gonna help so much. And that's it. Okay, so normally I would be doing this routine at night. I might as well show you my skincare since I have to do it right now before doing my hair. Skincare always comes first. I like to take some of this microbiome enzyme essence, which is basically a watery type of toner slash serum, and I pat it on my skin. I've been loving this lately. My skincare at night changes from time to time, and I have a good variety of different types of things that I switch up depending how I feel and what I think my skin needs. Now I'm gonna take the Deep Repair Eye Serum by True Botanicals. I use a lot of True Botanicals, so Eye Serum is also True Botanicals. And I take a little bit right here. It drops like teardrops and I rub it in. I love this, especially at night. Now I'm gonna take my Chabula Extreme Cream, also by True Botanicals. And I take a little bit like that on my hand and rub it in. Just for something extra, I've been liking this Moon Dew. This is by the brand Herbivore, and this has retinol alternative, bok I think that's how you pronounce it, and peptides. And I like using this one specifically at night. Certain eye creams I'll use daytime. But this one, I specifically like using at night. And I will rub that in. I use a lot more than necessary. I'm gonna tap some in my smile lines and a little bit on my forehead. You know, premature aging, wrinkles, I'm in my 30s, you know the deal. We wanna age gracefully. Aging is a privilege is what I always remind myself, especially in the social media world where we compare ourselves so much and we see that plastic procedures and plastic surgeries and fillers and Botox and all of that is so common. Nothing wrong with that, but it's not for everyone. And I want to be one of those people that embrace aging and view aging as a natural part of life. View aging as something that I'm grateful for because I'm alive, I'm healthy. And when I'm 40, I shouldn't expect to look like I'm 18 or 20. I just want to look good, feel good, and age gracefully. Okay, hair time. This is what I like to do before bed. It's important to soak up any of the water because if you're going to go to sleep with your hair wet, 
You don't want it to be drenched wet. My hair is on the damp side, and this is the only leave-in I'm going to use in my hair. This is my two-in-one defining curl cream and leave-in conditioner. It's a two-in-one product. It's for wavy, curly, and coily hair. This is my foundation. So I take some, and if you have any problem areas, focus it on that. At first, I like to just go in and put it everywhere. And this is kind of a hack as well. This is a night routine hack. I'm gonna separate my hair just to be more precise. Separate it in half, take more of that leave-in, work it into the bottom, make sure every single strand is coated with that leave-in. You can use more or less depending on your hair type. You can take a little bit more to make sure the other side is just as coated and hydrated. Now this is where the magic happens. I'm going to create chunky curls. And this routine goes by so fast. This is like the fastest thing ever. You're not going to bed, you wanna do this during daytime, just kinda of air dry your hair for a bit or diffuse your hair, use the blow dryer to dry it faster. But the whole point of this routine is to have a night routine that allows you to wake up in the morning and not have to do much. Brush it through to make sure that it's all smooth. And basically, I will twist the hair in a chunky way. And then basically do that in the back as well. And grab the brush and look. And brush is very important because you want to make sure that everything is smooth. You don't have to apply anything else to your hair. This leave-in can be enough for a lot of hair types. But for me, to secure those curls and I want that extra hold, I'm just going to take a little bit of hairspray. And lock in those curls. And now I'm gonna do the same thing to the top. This is what you want, a chunky curl. Pretty much where I lay is where I stay, I don't move that much. And I sleep on a satin or silk pillowcase and I kind of just position my hair like this and sleep like that on the pillow. It's not a big deal for me. If you feel like it's gonna be a problem for you, wear a satin bonnet or something. I'm not a fan of bonnets, it's not my thing. I'm not a fan of wrapping my hair because it'll flatten the top, especially while it's damp like this. But FYI, we're gonna trick this. I'm not actually going to bed right now, but I will air dry my hair a little bit, and come back and show you what that looks like. Let's just pretend I am going to bed. I don't have time to do that right now. I just wanna get this video done. All right, let's pretend that it's the next day, but it's actually only been two hours. For those of you that want quick results like right now, you can take your diffuser, give it some warm air to speed up the process. And if you're choosing to do this in an overnight way, like I've been suggesting, you can use your diffuser in the morning to basically stretch out your curls in areas that you want stretched, if you want them stretched. In my case, the back of my hair, it shrinks up a lot more than the rest of my hair. So to even up my hair and lengthen that back part, I diffuse that while holding it to stretch it out. I'm doing a little bit of that today just to speed up the process and show you the results. I'm gonna apply a little bit of makeup and then separate these curls and show you the results. separate these curls and see what we got because it is never the same it is always a surprise but i hope it looks nice <laughs> let's do it i always like to start from the bottom it's just easier and more organized if i start from the top then all that top hair is going to get in the way of properly doing the bottom the more you separate it the more volume you'll have typically my hair is about 90 percent dry when i wake up in the morning and i don't have to do much because i'll go on to do breakfast get ready do what i have to do with my kids and by the time i come to the bathroom to get myself ready and be out the door my hair is already 100 percent dry and all i have to do is separate it okay so here is my hair 
separated a lot more. And the good thing about the way that I parted my hair, see I took this whole chunk and it was all three chunks right here on top. Because I did that, I can part my hair wherever I want without having that flat top look. I am feeling the side part. It gives my hair more structure this way, so I do like it. And if I want to give my hair even more volume, of course, my trusty pick, I can go in and do that. These are my results. This reminds me of old school side part alba. I used to do this so much a few years ago, but I used to put so much effort into that, like so much more steps so much more styling this is just very minimal very easy of course results may vary depending on your hair type your curl pattern it's not going to look exactly like mine i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it gave you some ideas and i will see you in the next video bye sunshines